Hey, good morning, my friends. It's M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. A lot to get to in weather, but most all of it, I would say, is good. So let's get to it. We're going to call it a mostly dry day today. I'll show you where a few spotty showers could uh, settle into the area. Just real spotty. Great looking Thursdays on the way and the next rain on the way for Friday night into Saturday. So let's get to it. But first, let me say hi to Ginny Lope. Good morning from Thumb Lake. Where is Thumb Lake? Debbie Jones, what is Saharan dust? Saharan dust, there's been a big dust cloud coming off of Africa. It's pretty normal. You're thinking, oh, 2020, here we go. Coronavirus, all this stuff going on. Now a dust storm. No, it's a fairly normal thing, although it is a large area of dust. It's working its way across the Atlantic into the southeast U.S. It'll be dispersed a lot by the time it gets to Michigan. We probably won't even know that it's dust, but it will enhance the sunsets. I'll talk to you more about that in just a minute here. Hey, good morning, uh, Linda Fink from Onondaga, and good morning, Wanda Miller from Naples, Florida. What are you staying in Florida for? at this time of the year. You gotta be in the best weather in the country. All right, here is the radar. And we still have a cold flow aloft and a cyclonic flow around the Great Lakes. That cyclonic flow is curved so that showers can pop up mostly off of Lake Michigan and Lake Superior, and they're just very minimal right now. But if you look at the satellite picture, you can kind of get a better feel as to why a shower or two could pop up. You see that circulation to our northeast? That's the main storm center. That's what produces the cyclonic curvature. So the air is flowing around low pressure, and that's a, a situation that makes rising air, makes a couple of showers. Again, not a major thing, and it, we won't totally clear out on our skies until that rising air motion ends, and that'll be sometime tonight and definitely for tomorrow. Hey, good morning, Holland, and good morning, Tom Ramsey, and uh, good morning, Newton James, and Roger Morphew from Lake Manistique. Good morning to you guys. All right, so radar forecast shows, you know, how widespread the shower activity will be today, and it's not that big. So here we go, and we'll move it along for you. Basically, what I would say is sometime in the afternoon, the southwest corner, maybe maybe Grand Rapids, uh, more likely Benton Harbor, St. Joe, maybe Kalamazoo, could have just a quick 15-minute shower that drifts through. And our radar forecast shows 6, 7, 8 o'clock, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, midnight tonight, a couple of showers in the, in the southwest. So that's where I would say you'll have a shower chance. Detroit, Ann Arbor, Flint, Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, probably not a chance. The Thumb, probably not a chance, although you can always get a quick little shower that comes off of Saginaw Bay in these cold aloft lake effect events. A good morning to Steve Matthews from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Then we clear out tonight and we'll look for the next storm system and we'll look toward tomorrow. Uh, so let's go into tomorrow. And this map is showing you the pressure pattern and the temperature pattern. The pressure pattern, the little black squiggly lines, if there's a whole bunch of them across lower Michigan, it's windy. Uh, I use my rule of thumb is five miles an hour for every one isobar. You see one, two, maybe three isobars. So you're talking peak gusts of 15 miles an hour tomorrow, generally five to 10 mile an hour winds. Good looking day. Uh, Mary Farley, how bad is the humidity going to get in the next seven to 10 days out? I don't see anything that's like a real high humidity type pattern until maybe we get into the heat as we head into the early part of July. And I'll talk about that too here in just a second. So this is Friday. This is early afternoon Friday. Friday is a good looking day, but we will cloud up in the afternoon on the west side of the state. Uh, now this is, this is the rainfall from 2 p.m. Friday to 8 p.m. Friday. So the UP, you're going to get into thunderstorms of uh, Friday afternoon. The west side of the state, far west side of the state, you might start to get into showers or thunder showers late Friday afternoon or Friday evening, probably somewhere between 4 
and uh, 8 p.m. Dust is coming, folks. I'll explain that to you in a second here. So this is Friday night, early Saturday morning. This is the rainfall between 8 a.m. Saturday and 2 p.m. Saturday. So the showers winding down, I would say, sometime mid-morning for most places, with the exception of maybe the far southeast has a shower hang on into early afternoon. Far southeast, Detroit, down to Monroe, Adrian, maybe cold water. Somewhere in there, we go into Saturday night dry, and we go into Sunday dry. And then next week looks quite dry, perhaps. We're into Monday and Tuesday, and we're into Wednesday, and we're into Thursday, and we're into uh, we're into Thursday, July 2nd. No, I'm sorry. We're into Friday, July 3rd. Where did June go, my friends? It's done. It's history. Um, and we're starting to warm up quite a bit by then into probably easily upper 80s, probably to low 90s. So here's your temperatures today. We're in the 70 to 75 degree range in most places, maybe a little cooler in the far north. Now, tomorrow we are 75 to 80 tomorrow the pick day of the week low humidity lots of sun not much wind and comfortable temperatures 70 to 75. friday we're back to summer if you like summer temperatures will be jumping into the upper 80s most places low 80s in traverse city and cadillac because the clouds come in during the afternoon hours saturday i feel like this might be a little bit too Warm of a forecast by a couple of degrees. I would call Saturday about 77 to 82 across lower Michigan. I feel like this forecast from the weather service may be a touch too warm by a couple of degrees on Sunday, probably low 80s, upper 70s. Then Monday we we're back to the 80s, and Tuesday we're back to the 80s too. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so Saharan dust. Here's a post that I wrote on uh, MLive. Let me try to get it into a perspective where you can see it some. Not working for me. <laughs> okay, there we go. And so what this satellite picture shows you is the wave of Saharan dust moving across the Caribbean across into the Gulf of Mexico, and eventually making up toward us. That is Friday. Now, Friday night, Saturday morning, I just told you, cloudy skies. So um, the spectacular sunsets made by dust in the sky might be blocked on Friday night, Saturday morning, sunrises too. Uh, Friday morning might have a great sunrise. There could be some dust in the air. Saturday night, Sunday morning, still could be some residual dust in the air too. So it's not something that's a, another plague or anything that we have to worry about too bad. But I do want to show you the extended forecast. Okay, here is the six to 10 day temperature forecast. And that temperature forecast is valid for June 29th to July 3rd. Okay, above normal temperatures. And July 1st to July 7th, the eight to 14 day forecast. You want a warm summary 4th of July week? you're probably going to get your wish. And notice, uh, well, you can't see it, but there's a dry pattern developing. Um, I'll move it over for you here so you can see. All right. This is the 8 to 14 day forecast for precipitation and cooler than or uh, drier than normal conditions expected in that period as, as well so and i guess i'll leave you with one last thing here too um maybe <laughs> there's the 
severe weather forecast for Friday into Saturday, and fairly obvious because we have a strong weather system coming in the evening hours uh, at the end of June. So there is the risk of severe weather possible on Friday. We'll keep you definitely updated on that. All right, that was the morning M Live M Live morning weather update. Um, I'm meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. We talked about um, improving conditions today. If you're done with the rainfall, some places have stayed dry and need the rainfall still. You have to wait until Friday night, Saturday morning for that. Other places like uh, Northwest Lower, it's been just almost raining every day. And we've had several inches of rain. Um, so you get to dry out. Everybody enjoys a Thursday. It's looking like a great Thursday. Maybe we'll call it a work skipper Thursday and worker skipper Friday. How's that sound? Friday's a good day too, but eventually the clouds come in, showers and thunderstorms scoot across the state. And the weekend right now, I would call it three quarters dry in most areas. Uh, the exception maybe being a few showers left over for Saturday morning. Um, okay, so Keith Cook, we got some questions. Could you please cover the Sahara winds again? Yeah, let's go back to that. And uh, what happens, uh, someone asked me, you know, is this an extreme event? I'm not really sure because, you know, as a general meteorologist, I just became aware of this condition maybe in the last five years. I don't know how long the Hurricane Center has known about it. Um, but now we have satellites that observe this stuff. So what you're seeing on this satellite picture, let me get it to the right perspective again. So you can see it. What you're seeing here is a model forecast of what we call atmospheric optical dust. And basically there's a lot of particles in the atmosphere. Uh, the blue and the greens are actually sea salt particles. Remember, salt particles floating in the air, one of the main cloud condensation nuclei. A cloud, a droplet, has to have something to form on. So it forms on dust, mostly, salt particles also. But what you're seeing is there's been a dust storm on the Saharan Desert, very common, and that large cloud of dust has been moving across the Atlantic. Very common also. It's not a 2020 uh, coronavirus and everything else we've never heard of type situation, but very common. But we can see it better now with satellites. And this one does appear to be a fairly substantial dust cloud. I've seen pictures on Twitter today of um, in the Caribbean, dust is actually, you know, falling, you know, thin film on cars, on windows, and the sky you could see is obscured by dust in the air. By the time it gets to us, it will be in the upper atmosphere, and it can make some stellar sunsets and sunrises. And I suppose if we said that uh, Friday is going to be 85 or 87 in some area, and we got a dusty sky, just like when we get forest fires, it might hold the temperature down two degrees. We might be overshooting uh, the high temperature for Friday. And then it'll sweep on out with the next weather system to be washed down. Be interesting to see. I've seen this a couple of times. Be interesting to see if we get a kind of a dusty rain where you get raindrops and then your car dries off and you see little dust particles on there. That is a possibility, I would say, because of the timing. When I end this loop here, that's Friday with the dust around. And then remember I talked about the rain Friday night into Saturday. So it is certainly possible that the rain coming from the West would grab onto minute dust particles, bring them down. Be pretty interesting. Hey, my buddy Cody Reif, the, the young uh, varsity football coach of the mighty Reese Rockets. And he does a great job, folks. Um, Okay, so, um, <laughs> yeah, Adam Stacy says the dust will obscure Godzilla's approach <laughs> if 2020 keeps going the way it will. No, nope, 2020 has, has bottomed out, 
and we're all on the upward swing on everything. How does that sound? All right. Thanks for uh, joining me. Remember, you can always join the um, Facebook group, Michigan Weather, on Facebook. And uh, it's kind of nice because everybody posts what's going on in weather and we get into severe weather uh we get some very valid posts that can help you stay safe and we get a lot of sunsets and i expect that friday into saturday with the weather that we have coming and the possible dust in the air um so join that and i'll see you back here tomorrow morning this is m live chief meteorologist mark torregrosa thanks for joining me on the m live morning weather update